Which are they for you versus someone else? That's even better. Um, it is a level of service, but because I'm going to go way outside of what Norma is to find a house for someone who's looking. Mm -hmm. So if they have specific needs, I'm going to look at those needs and I'm going to find a way to meet those needs. Maybe outside of the box. What would be an example? But first of all, who's intrigued when she did that more than just good service? Raise your hand if you're more intrigued. So you can see that was really good hook. So now I want to know a little more. Well, give me an example. So you have to find out what their needs are. So why do they want to be where they're at? And if they know exactly where they want to go, then maybe I door knock, maybe I call those communities, maybe I get into that community and find resources that can connect them. Um, so I do a lot with people going through divorce because I'm divorced, so I have a podcast and a lot of things I do. So I hone in on what those, they have different needs than everyone else. Now, now I'm really liking this. I, I see why she's in the front here, because she's actually got a very specific niche. Much easier to have a brand in a specific niche than generally about everything. How many raise your hand if you get that here? Yeah. All right. So now, if I'm going through divorce, I start thinking she's going through what I'm going through. She understands what it is, the needs are there. That was the best description she gave me out of all the things. She intrigued me, she went a little deeper, when she gave generalizations about going in the community, it didn't get me. How many of you weren't gotten by that? Let me just see some hands, I'm curious. Yeah, so many of us had a similar experience. But when she went specifically to divorce, it's like, okay, I know what that means, I'm going through that myself. That, that's a really interesting brand. Really well done. Give her a hand, thank you so much. Yeah.